All right, we got a beautiful sunny day out here in Pennsylvania. Truck is somewhat clean. I mean, I run it through the auto wash and well, since you pay for the unlimited, they never wash the wheel wells, so those remain dirty. So, I think we're going to venture out into the world today and just kind of see how everything's going and maybe, maybe go give this thing a little bit of a wash up, get it cleaned up, looking good again and try to stay away from people. All right, all right. Uh, no key fob detected, that's weird. Key fob's right here in my pocket. It's the first time that's ever happened, so I guess there's a new one. If it's in your left pocket, it might be too far away for it to detect it, so I don't know. Kind of just happened on camera just now, so I don't know. Hopefully we don't have any issues with that in the future. <laughs> but either way, it is a beautiful day, and we do have the Borla exhaust singing ever so beautifully on this spring-ish type morning. And we're gonna go drive around a little bit, kind of play with the truck. I was planning on doing a little bit more with the modifications, but it's just gonna be a little bit tough just because I've been working on some stuff in the house and kind of feeling my limitations right now. And I don't wanna push myself too far with crawling under the dash, doing wiring and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be leaving that maybe till sometime next week. And then we're gonna get into some of the accessory installations on this truck. But for now, let's go take a little drive, just kind of have a little bit of fun with it and just enjoy the Ram Rebel. All right, so we do have a little spot on my property that kind of drops down fairly significantly. And I've climbed it before with the Rebel, but that was with the old back window. And I know some people have been saying with the panoramic sunroof, maybe we get a little bit more flex. So let's take it down here and see if that is affecting our new window in any way. Because I mean, honestly, our suspension should flex, not our body and end up having issues with the window. So let's get this thing a little bit of flex. Oh. We're in one wheel drive. Let's put the axle lock on. I think four high should probably do it. We're at a bit of an angle, I'll be honest. We got the big 35s. And we crawl out like nothing. Absolutely effortless with these mud terrain tires. So not exactly a trail test, not yet anyway, but we will be doing that at some point once things start open up again, especially as things warm up. A lot of the off-road parts and stuff are available, and then we can actually go out, have a little bit of fun with this thing without destroying it, obviously. I just want to go out and have a little bit of fun with it, but when it comes to banging off trees, that's not exactly what I'm interested in with this truck, but we have that other Dodge, so once that thing's done, pretty much no holds barred. Kind of have a look along here. You can see there's this little wave right here, and that's actually been there since they put the window in. So it's just part of the whole mold, I guess. I don't know if all the windows have that or not, but that's the way mine looks, but it's not cracked or anything. And if we go over here where it was cracked before, I don't see anything there either. There's a tiny little bit of the mold there. You can kind of see a little bit of a wave, but all in all, looks like our window is good to go and it can handle the flex. So hopefully we don't have any issues in the future. So I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the Ram with the Ready Lift kit so far. I mean, when I first got it, I was a little bit kind of apprehensive because there was a little bit of settling that went on just with springs trying to find the place where they need to be. And I had a few clunks or whatever until everything kind of found its home. And I mean, everything's torqued up, everything's done according to the instructions, but you know, there was a little bit of growing pains there, I gotta admit. And fact is, right now, I mean, the truck drives like brand new. I mean, you can go around all the corners, you don't you got no clunks, bangs, nothing. I mean, it's better than it was before. Obviously, we did have that one clunk on, I think it was the eight pillar area. And I mean, after I tightened everything down, everything seems to be pretty good so far. So I'm, I'm actually more and more happy with it as time goes on. Not to mention for $900, you really can't go wrong. I mean, if you want to get into like a BDS kit or something like that, you're definitely going to be into it for a lot more money. Obviously, they do have a drop for the front diff, which is nice, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if you want to go bigger, I mean, you're going to have to pay more money. That's just how it goes. But I figured for the just kind of 
the ease of installation and ease of removal if I ever had to take it out. Say if, you know, something crazy came on the market and I was like, hmm, I want to trade this truck in. And they're like, well, we don't want it lifted or we're not going to give you any extra money for that. Well, then I can just take it out and have no worries. But as you guys saw, we had no rubbing with our WeatherTech mud guards. I mean, they're a little more of a lower profile than the factory ones I find. But all in all, it's worked out really, really well. And I'm very, very happy with the product. And honestly, I gotta say, there isn't one thing I put on this truck that I regret. I mean, everything, I mean, some stuff, I mean, I will admit, like the tonneau cover, there is better ones on the market. Like if you wanna get a rolling log, you wanna get a backflip or something like that, you're gonna pay a lot more money than I did. I paid, I think I paid around $500 for this one. So, I mean, it was a quarter or third of the price of the last one I bought, the rolling log. So, I mean, yeah, definitely for the value, it's, it's gonna do just fine. Also, we did do an overview on basically everything I've done to this truck so far, but I just wanted to speak on a few of the things just kind of as my experience has grown with the truck and just driving it and just kind of experiencing everything that it has to offer and just kind of the things that I added on and how they are working out. I really do like the WeatherTech mud guards. They're very easy to clean. They are nice low profile and they don't rub, which is nice with the big 35 inch tires. I do like the mud terrains, the Toyo Open Country MTs that by, they're a 35 by 1250 R20. So I did go a little bit bigger on the wheel than factory. They have an 18 from the factory, but that was just kind of to keep the proportion because if I went to an 18 inch wheel with a 35 inch tire, I'm gonna have a lot more sidewall and it would just kind of make, it would, the, the wheel would look really small and it would, I don't know. I mean, some people like that look. For me on this truck, I just think that going with a little bit bigger of a wheel is just gonna give you more of the detail of the wheel rather than when it's smaller, it's a little harder to see. And I think taking the spokes off of the Rockstar 2s definitely gave it its own look. Like it really looks a whole lot different than with the spokes on. And I think, I don't really see anybody else doing that. So it kind of makes them unique, even though they are an older wheel. Also the rock lights that I did put on, they are from Oxbeam and they are absolutely flawless. Had no issues whatsoever with the app. And what I did, I mean, if you guys saw the install video, you'll know kind of all the ins and outs of how I did the system. But what I did is I actually bought extensions so I could put the module underneath the hood because that kind of keeps it up out of the way, out of the heat, out of the dirt, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it gets, it's a little bit warm under the hood, but I mean, obviously it's, it's not terrible. I put it right by the battery. So it's kind of in the front in the safe area, not close to anything extreme, but the fact is, it's in a good place for the Bluetooth connectivity because that isn't the greatest. It, it, if you walk away from the vehicle, maybe 50 feet or so, it starts to lose connection. But if you're within the vicinity of your vehicle, it does work pretty well with changing the light settings and all that kind of stuff. And as far as them taking abuse, I mean, I've been driving it in rain, all kinds of winter conditions, what little that we did have and mud and everything else and car washes and had no issues whatsoever with any of the lights. They work really, really nicely. You turn them on and they, the light pattern shoots probably about 12 feet outside of the vehicle. So definitely with the eight pod system, you do get a whole lot of light. And now with the lift kit, it really makes a whole lot more sense now that we do have that wheel gap to kind of show off the suspension a little bit. Also, we do have the DT Taser from Z Automotive, and that is actually a really, really cool little thing that you can get for these trucks. Very easy to install. You just There's two plugs under the dash. You just connect the factory module and you plug it into the Taser. And I just leave mine installed at all times. I mean, if I went in for warranty or something like that, I might disconnect that, plug it into the factory one again, just so they can't blame anything on anything. But either way, it has worked pretty awesome. There's been no uh, real issues and it has actually helped me when I've had to have issues with the screen and stuff. Like I've had the backup camera not work and things like that. And I was able to go in and do a reboot with a taser and that to help clear all that out and then you know restarted everything and everything has been working good ever since. So yeah, it definitely gives you a little bit of diagnostic ability. And also you can do the light shows, which is really fun if you're into car shows and you wanna go and kind of show off and you can just use a key fob when that thing's hooked up and do all the different light shows, which is cool. You can also make your own light shows, which I haven't done just yet, but there is a whole lot of things that that does. With the lift kit, it's definitely a must have because I was able to change tire size. I was able to change tire pressure monitoring, just kind of changing the thresholds because I don't wanna run 55 PSI or whatever the case may be but it does give you that option to really customize your truck and it'll take it right up to the full extremes. I mean, if you wanna go into changing axle ratios, 
or removing the axle lock or putting some other different setup in you can disable all that kind of stuff and apparently we can get in there and do the camera but i like i said i'm still having a little bit of issues in the tight quarters of moving around and stuff like that so getting the screen removed and trying to get into there to try to find those wires you know we're going to let that just kind of wait for a little bit longer but eventually we will try to tackle that one and see if that is possible to get a front camera i know you guys have been waiting for that one me myself i would really really like to have that as well so we will be tackling that in hopefully the near future and also one of my favorite mods on the truck is the pedal max from jms chip and i did make a video on the black truck that we had on the channel with doing the install and everything and how it all works i did switch it over to this truck but mean install is exactly the same so i didn't want to make two videos about the same exact thing but it is in the truck it works flawlessly and it's definitely something that's going to take away that throttle leg and absolutely love every minute of having the pedal max installed on the truck because when you hit the throttle it's just like this nice and smooth and i've got to turn down like quite a bit right now if i crank this thing up it gets a little bit on the touchy side and as I'm sure most of you guys have been following along know, we do have the Borla Attack exhaust system and it has been working absolutely flawlessly. And the sound, I've had this truck for I think over six months at this point. Pretty sure that's kind of our time frame, but all in all, it has been so good. I mean, every time I hit a shift, I hear that beautiful exhaust note from this tuned exhaust system but being that it is the attack like they do have three different levels they have a touring they have an s type and then they have the attack and i just wanted to go as loud as possible and honestly like we're just cruising here about 1500 rpm it's very subdued there's no drone or anything like that and it's just absolutely the best exhaust system i could possibly imagine for the hemi engine in these trucks it just complements it so so well my my boys because you don't have a choice because you're my gopro oh oh you're my gopro oh yeah yeah all right <laughs> All right, so during this vlog, it was time to go to the grocery store because, well, although we did think that we had most of the stuff that we needed, well, it only takes a matter of time to kind of figure out all the little things that you're like, I think we're out of that and we didn't know we were out of that and now we need it. So at a time like this, it's not a bad idea to get a little bit extra on the things that we're gonna need. So we didn't go crazy. I ended up spending, it was $427. So anybody who's ever been to Costco, that's, well, that's one cart, if not, maybe a little less. So not terrible. There's tons of food in the stores. Like there's really, at this point, I mean, going into the store, it's not scary. I mean, obviously they're still stocking the shelves. There's not, nothing ever really happened with that. This isn't like I've said before, a natural disaster. This is just you know a lot like h1n1 or any of those things that went through the world and just yeah caused some havoc and i think the journalists are actually one of the biggest causes of the panic but this has kind of made me think like i mean i'm not a prepper i'm not a hoarder i'm none of that kind of stuff but it would be nice since we do kind of live out in the country just to have a little bit extra i mean just to have extra pasta and whatever just just things to have on a shelf where you know we'll we'll go through them and when we run out we buy more just to kind of keep like a, a stock a little bit of a stock not not a lot just just enough so there isn't that little degree of panic inside where you're like you know well if we had to sit here for two weeks are we are, are we good like do we have to do without or you know a month do we have to really do without or you know you don't that that's it's almost like you know the tesla owner's range anxiety where you know you you know that You've only got so far until you're out. And that's just, that's the reason for the trip today. Also, there is some elderly people that are in our family and they don't, we, we advise them obviously not to be going out and getting groceries. So there's a few things that they needed. So I grabbed that and I'm gonna drop it off their house and just put it on the doorstep and they can grab that and whatever, not have to worry about going to the store. So I feel that since there is no, I, I guess there is one case reported in our county. I'm just rattling here, but either way, I think there's one case in our county currently so the time to go out and get stuff would be now and like not in a hysterical kind of let's you know load the truck to the roof or something like that or get a trailer load full but just to get those little extra things that that's the reason for this trip and that's why well the back seat of the truck is full of groceries well with that being said just kind of wanted to take you guys along talk a little bit about some of the accessories that i put on the truck and how 
I've been enjoying them through the ownership of this vehicle and just if you guys are getting into the Rebels these are definitely something to consider because well I mean everybody wants to make their truck their own and to try to make these things a little bit better is it's always kind of what we strive for as car and truck people and making our vehicle a little bit more unique for our own style and function so those are just a few of the things that I had to share with you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as always keep that hammer down